day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today's lesson comes to us from Acts chapter 11, verse 1 through 14. In verse 1, 2, 3, we will see where Peter was accused of wrongdoing in preaching the gospel to the Gentiles and in eating and drinking with them. As we get to verse 4 through 14, we will see Peter's defense. And his defense was that God showed him that he was no respecter of persons. To anyone who believe, it does not matter what their nationality was. And we'll see that in Acts 10 and verse 34. We will also see Peter rehearsing the story in Acts chapter 10 as God gave him this vision that would take him to preaching the gospel to Cornelius and his household and of course this man and his family and friends were Gentiles. So as we look today at uh, Acts chapter 11, it says, And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea, they heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest in to men uncircumcised, and didst eat and drink with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Joppa, praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. A certain vessel descend as it has been seen, a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even unto me. Upon which, when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered and saw four footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things and the fowls of the year. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean art at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, call not thou common and this was done three times and all were drawn up again into heaven and behold immediately there were three men already come unto the house where i was sent from caesarea unto me and the spirit bade me go with them nothing doubting these six brethren accompanied me and we entered into the man's house and he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house which stood and said unto him send men to Joppa and call for Simon whose surname is Peter who shall tell thee words whereby thou on all thy house shall be saved so we see when these uh, Jewish Christians in Judea heard that the Gentiles at Caesarea had received the gospel. When Peter, as we say, returned to Jerusalem, he was rebuked and he was challenged by those Christians, the Jewish brethren, who were still bound by their former ways of thinking. They believe that a Gentile must be circumcised in order to obtain the full blessings of the Lord. 
So they were upset with Peter and Peter had to make his defense by telling them, listen, this is not about Peter, but it is a God thing. It is God himself who had revealed to him, Peter, what he must do and to the Gentile Cornelius, what he also should do. And when everything was carried out the way the Holy Spirit told both men that this thing should be done, there was harmony and the scripture tells us Cornelius and his household receive salvation. They were baptized with the Holy Spirit and they were baptized in water. But here is Peter finding himself in the hot seat. This was a first. And so God dealt with Peter. And now Peter has to deal with the rest of the Jewish Christians who still believe that salvation was not for the Gentiles, but salvation was for the Jews only, and that these people had to be circumcised because the blessings of God were not for them. And as you know, Jews and Gentiles really didn't deal they couldn't go in one another's house uh, they couldn't eat with one another so all this was something different something new something strange it was a god thing and peter had to rehearse the old story of what took place in the dream what took place with anani sorry with cornelius when he saw this angel and of course a few additional details that he gave us in this chapter chapter 11 so in defending his action peter gave a simple recital of all that had happened his vision of a sheet let down from heaven the appearance of the angel as we say to cornelius the servants whom Cornelius ascend to him. The spirits command to him Peter to come down from the housetop and to accompany these men. And when he got there, he explained to them the way of salvation. God poured out the Holy Spirit on the Gentiles. So since God had worked so many definite yet distinct things that he said would happen. Peter couldn't resist. Peter couldn't oppose. And so he was saying the same thing to them. If you oppose, then you would be opposing the Lord. So in this message, we see Peter had uh, several interesting details not given previously in chapter 10. As we said, Peter said that the sheet from heaven came right down to where he was. He said that in verse 5 today. So it was not a far off. Peter said, it came to me right down in front of me. And he said he looked at it. He said he observed it intently in verse 6. So he see all that was on it. He didn't miss anything. In chapter 12, Peter let us know, listen, when I left Joppa, I took some brethren with me. But today he is saying it is six men. And when he took them, he took them that they could be witnesses of what would happen in Cornelius' house. He wasn't sure what was going to happen, but he do know that it would come in question. He do know that he would to have to give an account to the Jew why he, a Gentile, was now mixing or having a relationship or preaching and eating and drinking with the Gentiles. 
So he took uh, some of the same brethren and the scripture tells us uh, that when Peter preached in Cornelius' house and the Holy Spirit fell on those Gentiles, these Jews that accompanied Peter were in amazement. They were wondering, what is this? How could this be? Because they did not know that salvation or the Holy Spirit was for the Gentiles also. So in verse 14, we are informed that the angel had promised Cornelius that Peter would tell him and his household how they would be saved. So we see here, even though Cornelius was a good man, even though Cornelius gave arms to the poor, even though Cornelius feared God, even though Cornelius allowed his household and his servants to know who God is by teaching them, we see from the scriptures that Cornelius was still not saved. Cornelius had still not received salvation. And God wanted him to receive salvation. So he made this meeting possible by giving Cornelius um, a vision from this angel and allowing Peter himself also to see a vision. And the coming together was for the saving of souls. It was for salvation to the Gentiles. And so we see when God is in something, he will make the impossible possible. He will make that which we misunderstand become plain to us. And so this at this time was happening to the Jews because they couldn't or they didn't really understand that salvation is for all who will come to Jesus Christ with a broken and a contrite heart. And so this morning we see that salvation came to the Gentiles as well as the Jews. Water baptism is for the Gentile as well as the Jews. The Holy Spirit's anointing is for the Jews as well as the Gentiles. And so this morning, if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the same is unto you. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. And may God bless the USA.